Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, so this is a fairly popular GCSE question aimed at around about grade five, grade six. And what we've got effectively is a circle, which is the X squared plus Y squared equals 13. And that's got a line through it, a straight line. And our job really is to find the X and Y coordinates of where it cuts through the circumference of the circle. I'm gonna be using the whole concept of substitution. So rather than having X minus two Y equals one, I'm going to make x the subject and I'm going to change that to x equals 1 plus 2y. So it's exactly the same equation, but I've just changed it to make x the subject. And what it allows me to do is to take that value of x and substitute it directly into my other equation. So what effectively I get is rather than writing x squared, I'm going to write 1 plus 2y squared plus y squared equals 13. Then if I expand the bracket, I get one plus two y multiplied by one plus two y plus y squared equals 13. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of playing around with that. And eventually, and I'm sure you can do this yourself, you should end up with something that looks like five y squared plus four y minus 12 equals zero. If you're not sure about that, and I have jumped a couple of steps there, if you're not sure, please do let me know in the comments and I'll explain it a little bit more. Okay, so my problem here is I need to find the value of y. Now I could try to factorize it, but I just know it's not gonna factorize. So therefore what I'm gonna use is the formula and I'm gonna say that y equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now effectively that's this value of y but normally we see this written as x equals. So by a little bit of substitution then I'm going to get b is going to be minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 times 5 times minus 12. OK, and that's all divided by two times a, which is going to be 10. And again, if you're not sure about the quadratic formula, please do let me know. The key issue with the quadratic formula is you need to work out the number underneath the square root sign first, which in this particular case is going to be 256. It is actually called the discriminant. So therefore, we've got two values of y. My first value of y is going to be equal to minus 4 plus 16, all divided by 10. My second value of y is going to equal to minus 4 minus 16, all divided by 10. And just when I work those out, I get a value of y y equals 1.2 and I get a value of y equals negative 2. Okay and then it's really going back to our original x equals 1 plus 2y and taking these two values of y and substituting them in. So I'm going to get x equals 1 plus 2y. So that's going to equal 1 plus 2 times 1.2. And hopefully you get the idea, my value of x is going to be 3.4. So I've got now two values. I've got when x equals 3.4, y equals 1.2. And we can actually put that directly, if you wanted to, onto the graph itself or onto the sketch. This is 3.4 brackets 1.2 and then my other value is when the value of y equals negative 2 so again I could do exactly the same x equals 1 plus 2y and what I should end up with is that x equals negative 3 so therefore I've got my other two coordinates that when x equals negative 3 y must equal negative 2, and that would be the answer to this particular question. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.